In this video, I want to show you a few ways to arrange and organize your blocks within your WordPress content. So you remember, each of these individual pieces of content is a block. So we've got a heading block, a paragraph block, and an image block. And if you want to move these around, say we want to move this image up, you can do so using these little arrow icons. So when you select the block, this menu comes up, you can click on these arrows, and you can see the block easily moves right around the post, shifting the next block down below it. Alternatively, if you don't want to use these arrows or if you need to move the block across the entire post, for example, you can drag and drop for a very simple sort of visual way of moving the block around. You can even drag it within a column. So if we wanted that image to be there, and then if we want to drag it back out, you can drag it here, for example. So you can see just how easy it is to move your blocks around once you've created them. I think this is a much better system than the sort of classic way that you would do that in a normal text editor or other uh, website building services, where you may have to like delete a bunch of text, copy and paste it to somewhere else, and so on and so forth. Here you can just move it around very easily and you can even do that in the list view over here. If you want to grab the image and then just move it down to here, for example, you'll see it moved down to that position. So for now, we'll just leave this here. Now in terms of arranging your blocks, uh, columns are a very common way to do that. And you can see we have a column arrangement here for this pricing table, although we did create this sort of automatically using a pattern earlier. So I want to show you what that looks like when you go to create a row of columns manually. So you can click the plus icon to add a new block, and I'm going to click columns. If columns does not show up in this menu here, remember you can click browse all, and then scroll down to the design section and click columns right here. So when you bring up the columns block, you have several options for how you'd like to arrange your columns. In this case, I'm gonna do a simple 50-50 split, but of course you can do any ratio that you prefer. So we're gonna do a 50-50, and you see we have two empty columns where we can go ahead and insert a block. So I'm gonna create like a simple pros and cons list. Like if I were creating a product review or something like that, we're gonna do pros and cons. So I'm gonna insert a heading. We'll say pros. And then on this one, we'll do the same thing with cons. Now from here, we can hit return and it'll create a paragraph block right there within your column. Now let's say we wanna make a list, a list of pros and cons, right? So We'll click the button to create a new block. We'll select list. And then we'll just add some list items here. Same thing on this side, return. And let's say we wanna copy and paste these items right over to here. We'll paste it into this paragraph block. And you'll notice there are no bullet points here because this is still a paragraph block. But you can actually convert a paragraph to a list block by clicking on the paragraph icon here and selecting list. So that block has been transformed into a list and you can see we have our four list items there. So those are our two columns and if you click down below, you can add another block below that row of columns. Now, if we want to make this a little more interesting, because of course, this row of columns is a lot more visually compelling than this row, you can click into one of your columns here. And actually, I'm going to use the list view to select columns. Um, actually, we'll go, we'll go to the individual column. And then over here, you have some options for, say, a background. If you want to choose one of these, can go with that. And then to make this a little more aesthetic, we can add padding. So you can see in these columns, there's a little bit of space between the actual content and the border of the column. Here we're kind of stretching out right to the border itself. So if we add some padding, say 20 pixels, 
you'll see that we have a little bit of a gap. And you can set that to whatever you want. You could do 30, and you can kind of see how that responds. You can also change the text color to whatever you want. I think I'm just gonna keep the default here. And then if we want to edit this other column, we can add another background to this one. Same thing, I think we did 30 pixels on the first one. And you can see how that starts to look a little more like this. One more thing I wanna share in terms of organizing your content is that you can actually group multiple blocks together so that they behave as a cohesive unit. So let's say we want all of these paragraphs as well as this image to sort of be its own thing. So what we can do, if we click into this block here, we're gonna select the image block and then the three paragraphs, and I'm just holding my shift key as I click on each of these. So now we've selected all of these, and we can click this little icon right here with the three dots, and then we can select group. So now you see this has become a group, which is sort of its own object within the list of blocks. So then you can take this group and move it around as if it were a single block. You can drag and drop, and it just makes life a lot easier as you're moving things around the page. So those are a few tips for arranging and organizing your content in WordPress.